apocalypse. <laughs> What is up guys, Space Unicorn here bringing you some hot frag ash and so we have a brand new update and a brand new character to divulge unto your ears. So the first game is the new character's name is Crow. He was able to be obtained through a free event which will eventually rotate in on the lower right hand corner of my screen here. But here he is. I have already completed the event. I'm about to get my 20th win. I'll get that here in a couple seconds. Um, but as you can see, this is the crow. Basic statistical rundowns for a level 9 crow. Health points 234. That's actually really good for a level 9 card that's not a tank. Um, damage is very good at 74 to 91 per second. Speed of 11.6. Speed while shooting of 8.7. Respawn time of 30 seconds. Weapon range of 40. And strong versus heavy. As you guys can see, we have already bought the Neo skin. I love the Neo skin. And I like to use it on most of my characters. So we have tossed him in my lineup here. And we're going to hop into some matches here. Show you a couple little tricks that we have learned with the crow. It looks like we will be placing, facing Fraggle Rock. And here we go. So, a few things with the crow right off the rip. He is able to heal and damage targets. He is the first card to be able to do this. So, if you look right now, if you look at his weapon, you will notice that there is a little gun right above his weapon. A, a little skull. That skull is his damage. So, as I stated, able to damage cards and heal cards very, very efficiently. As you guys can see, we are doing work on the backside here. Next thing to note with this card, well I'll show you here in a sec, is he's also able to heal himself. So, as you guys can see, I've taken, oh, I actually got the health back. Well, normally what I do here, we'll hop on the tower anyway. So, we're on the tower here. You can see there's 12 to 11 damage with a few ticks of threes for burn off. This is actually really, really good. So what you're basically seeing is you're seeing burn off from a weapon effect. Now, we're switching weapons here. We are now gonna self heal ourselves by shooting the ground by our feet. This is incredibly annoying. As you guys can see, I am very hard to kill in this particular situation. <laughs> it's gonna take all of his cards chasing me around to kill me right now, and it's gonna annoy the heck out of him. Oh, I got caught in the boss ult. That was the one thing I kind of figured if it happened, I'd be in trouble. Let's grab Lucha here. We're going to destroy the rest of his tower. And we're going to get onto the main tower. So, the things with the crow. As you guys just saw, he's able to damage towers very good. He's able to damage ta characters extremely well due to his burnout. He is also able to do a lot of work for you on the backside. Honestly, this is interesting position here for his AI. The one thing I don't like about the Crow guys is his AI is not very good. It, it's all right. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, AI is AI. But up here, destroy this tower real quick. This game's pretty much over. Um, Fraggle Rock, GG's to you, man. Um, we're going to hop into the next one here in just a second. But anyways, guys, so with the Crow, like I was saying, very, very strong card in the right hands. He's able to damage Blot when he's in his immunity form. He's also able to do splash damage. This is something that I've stressed with you guys many times over. Splash damage is meta right now, whether we like it or not. And that's what you're seeing here. So, let's get into another match. Um, I hate whenever it doesn't give me the option to, to move past that. There you go. Lower right hand corner you can see the event for the crow. So let's hop into another match. Oof, look at that ping. It was okay last game, and this time it's like super, super high. Queen dog. All right, so let's hop into the crow here, guys. So now as you guys saw in that last game, I just sat basically there and healed myself by shooting at my feet. This is very, very good, and it's a good thing to have in your back pocket. The other thing, though, to keep in mind is he can heal your team. So Andro here, for instance, just took a ton of damage. But guess what? She's back up to full health. As you guys can just saw, her the heal is actually very, very strong. It's 47 to 46, and the reload time is solid as well, which makes it incredibly pesty to get rid of this card. As you guys can see, we're just going to sit here, and we're basically able to almost keep our whole push alive 
with just this one card. Now there was a lot of damage coming out there, which is why we lost him. But you guys just saw me heal myself and now we're back on a tower. This card in the right hands is going to be devastating. He's going to be able to maintain a push, he's going to be pesty, and he's going to cause you huge damage numbers. I mean, look at this. 43 with damage tick of 11 and the damage tick seems to last for about a second and a half which means you're getting roughly 33 more damage per shot that means you're averaging 77 damage per shot that is exceptional and as you guys can see we just splash damage to tower we're going to switch over to our heal real quick heal ourselves up by shooting the ground you can also shoot walls that are in front of you but I've been shooting the ground a lot just kind of something I like to do and it reminds me a lot of uh, a couple things I've seen with other healing characters but as you guys can see here we're gonna keep Lucha up very very simply and we're gonna move up here to finish this game off so guys this has been the crow you guys can obtain him freely so please do so guys you only need to win 12 matches um, win 20 to get the free upgrade it's very very simple to do and honestly, this card is good, and you guys will want to get used to playing him until he gets nerfed, uh, which eventually will happen, I'm sure. It usually happens with most new cards as they get reworked. But there he is, the Crow, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe in the down there, and I will see you legends in the next one. Have a fantastic day, everybody, and I hope you enjoy this new character.